Hello. Hi, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Hi, Allison. Hi, how are you? Hi. I'm trying to make sure. Are you get yeah, take a moment to get set. I can hear you well. Sounds good. Um Okay, why do I look bad? <laughs> oh, it's, it's a little bright, but it's it's fine. So Am I talking too loud? No, it's a good volume. Okay. Yeah. So when I'm you. over at my camera. Yeah. HD Pro. Oh, there. Is oh, that wow. Better? Yeah, that's that's great. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, that's that's a, that's really nice. A lot better. Okay, good. Yes. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm great. Yeah, I'm just happy to to be able to meet you uh, visually here. Um, yeah. I think we met dur at, at in a Facebook group in one of the Facebook yep. groups. Yeah, it was um, the Living with OCD uh, podcast. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, it was. I remember your your comments were very helpful. It was nice to oh. have that community. Yeah. Um, yeah. I wanted to start with that. Just say that I. Uh, that was back in my 20s when I was in my previous relationship. And it was, yeah, it was just very helpful. I remember your comments were, it just resonated with me. Yeah. Um, so it stuck with That's me. That's so sweet. Yeah. But yeah, so this is, this is uh, my vlog, um, Hiccuping Mind. And um, I just, I read your book, mm -hmm. Allison, and um, it's, it, it really, it was very well Thank written, um, really helpful. Uh, and I'm, at some at a certain point i'm gonna um read some snippets from it but uh the book is called being me with ocd how i learned yes. to obsess less and live my life by you yes <laughs> um and yeah uh, it was the first book i read on my kindle so um i have oh, wow. it took me this long to get one my girlfriend just got me one. Oh yeah <laughs> um but it was just uh like i i loved the ability to highlight you know all the things that i like yeah and, um i've never i've never read an ebook myself oh you haven't oh okay mm -hmm. uh i know i know that's how my book exists like that's how it was meant to exist and then they ended up also doing a print version but um that's great that's so it, fun it was helpful because i was able to download it right away and start reading yep. um but yeah so so you're a writer copy editor and proof reader right would you say yep. that's your so that's your title uh yeah that's still my title um less proofreading at this stage um i would say i'm largely a copy editor and then um oh my dog's in the background she, oh, looks so cute. she listens to her she's doing her thing <laughs> <laughs> oh and then i write more on the side more for fun like i do a little writing in my career but mostly like i write for myself and mm -hmm. blogging and that kind of thing i would love to publish another book but it is a long hard process Oh, God, I bet. So what was the, the, how long did that take for this book? I mean, I'm sure it was several years. Right? Um, yeah, I, I started it kind of as a journal mm -hmm. for myself. Like I just, once I was diagnosed with OCD, I was like, okay, I can write this down because before I knew it was OCD, I thought that I was like going to be a criminal. <laughs> so yeah. I thought if yeah. I wrote down my thoughts, if anyone found it, they'd be like, oh, my God, she has to be locked up, which now I know, of course, they don't do that. I mean, no. Yeah, it's different <laughs> when you are aware of them. And yeah. And yeah. Right. So so at first you were what hesitant about putting it hesitant out there. to put anything in writing. Yeah, yeah I wasn't yeah, right. Didn't want to put that process, my feelings in that way. And then once I had the diagnosis, I kind of thought, well, if anyone finds this, I have a, a diagnosis, I have a psychiatrist, and I really pictured, like, someone going to court for me. Being oh, like, my She's not... yeah, oh, my even God. Even though I never did anything. It was yeah, all thoughts. It's thoughts. Like... Yeah. Yeah, but I, so that's what I did. I wrote it kind Bad of as thoughts. journal entries, but also knowing that I wanted to publish someday, that I wanted it to yeah. be, um, uh, hopefully a book, but that's a huge dream. I mean, to be published is kind of rare you know it doesn't happen very often but I did it in a way where I'm like okay well hopefully someday I'll write a book so I was massaging it and editing it and trying to be creative with it as I was going along it wasn't just for my own eyes I was 
working on it that way. And then yeah. so that was years of handwriting it in a notebook. Um, and then I started typing it into my computer. And then eventually I just kind of was talking to some publishing friends because I'm in the publishing industry. I'm an editor and, you know, copy editor, like I was saying. Amazing. And yeah, yeah and they suggested a publisher. And I went from there and it, that actually went pretty quickly. The process wasn't as slow as it has been since then or as that it can be. Um, I was really yeah. lucky that the first hmm. publisher I submitted a proposal to, they said yes. I mean, that's you I hear mean, all these stories of being rejected 50 times. and Yeah. Oh, no. I'm, true. I mean, I'm yeah. I'm sure it's helped a lot of people. There is a lot of great reviews. Um, um, one of them yeah. gave a good review. Uh, yeah. And I'm sure that they saw that, you know, that this could be really helpful for people who are, especially young people who are really uh, initially feeling these, uh, having these thoughts, feeling yeah. these OCD feelings. I was diagnosed sort of uh, indirectly because it was, it was back when I wasn't as clear about what was going on, but when I was like 17, mm -hmm. but I'm very foggy. I've, I've been... OCD about when I was diagnosed like I've I've it's one of my things because I'm like well I was 17 and and it wasn't exact right <laughs> officially when I was 22 okay. it was really like okay medication and all that but when I was 17 it was I was seeing therapists so like they didn't really know yeah. what to do you know and they brought up OCD sure but it was less yeah but if I imagine reading this when I was 17 and and oh man it just would have been so helpful um yeah, and that's why I wrote it too, because I yeah, I didn't feel like at the time, this was 10 years ago, there wasn't as much as there is now. Um, I, like, <laughs> and I maybe it's just me, <laughs> is now. Um, I, I, I related so much about like, in the sense of just the secret thoughts, like feeling like, um, you know, in, in my 20s, when I'd meet like the parents of, of my girlfriend, I would be thinking, oh, I'm being all nice and stuff. But little do you know, all the thoughts I'm having about your daughter and like, I'm, sh yeah. I'm a terrible person. It's but it was just egotistonic thoughts. And it's it's like you're walking on a bridge thinking I could jump, even though you don't want yeah. to. It's like, and you keep thinking I could jump. Oh, that means oh, I, I'm that means it's true. No, it's just, you yep. the brain is so powerful. It's so and it tricks you because it knows it can it do that it, it knows it can think anything exactly uh. yes and i think i have such a an issue with people who don't have ocd who will hear a thought like that um they'll hear that you have inappropriate thoughts and they'll think well i would never think that or if you think that you're this or that and it's like i have to, I have to edit this into i like to edit into two different little movies oh, um yeah. but yeah so let me read this uh f first of all in page 70 you said medication calm my brain's constant hiccup like activity so eventually i was able to calmly and rationally address each thought that's amazing and the way you reference hiccuping and also the power of um take Start reading. Yep. Leave your doubts behind. Swallow your hiccups. Hiccup in mind.